we've already eaten, and um, Rhino's grandmother is preparing to weave baskets. This material is called paja toquilla or rampira. Um, she's already cut it and washed it. Right now she's um, separating the pieces that are used for weaving. These are the pieces that are used for weaving. This part here is thrown away. She makes a cut and she takes out the white pulpy part and it's just this thin piece that's used for weaving. Um, this pot will be cooking for several hours. Uh, they're cooking chontaduro, which is, I don't think we have any fresh right now to show you. Um, it grows, it's a fruit from the palm tree. Let me see if I can, do you think I can open that to show them, Rhino? Okay. You see here, this, this pot is black from cooking. Don't get the camera too close because it might hurt. But, um, and it's used, it's covered with a leaf. This isn't a banana leaf, um, it's a leaf from the same family called hoja blanca, white leaf, because um, it's big like a banana leaf and the underside is white. We usually have, sometimes there's some here for storage. <laughs> this is just a piece of the leaf and you see that the underside is white. This can be used as a placemat. Um, it can be used for covering pots, it can be used for wrapping up food and carrying it places. It can also be used for toilet paper. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Let me see if I can get out some chontaduro here to show you. This is what the chontaduro looks like. It's only f um, you can't find it too many places in the country, but um, the inside tastes kind of like a yam and it has a little nut inside um, that you can crack open and eat. It kind of tastes like a coconut, that part of it. Yam and coconut. Okay, this here is an iron that you fill with coal and use for ironing because here there's no electricity. This <coughs> is a homemade lamp. This is an old tin can, some tin that was adapted here, and a wick, and a little stick to hold it, tied with some rope. This rope was purchased, not made. It's kind of hard to find the materials these days for making rope. And it's filled inside with kerosene. Um, underneath the traditional stove, we have the storage place for wood. Rhino's grandmother always keeps it well stocked with wood. Oh, over here, this is the stacks of hoja blanca, the white leaf. And here we have um, uh, matches. This is a good place to keep matches so that they don't um, get too wet. Uh, in the humid climate, you can't light the matches because they get so wet. And this inside here, <coughs> this is achote which is used for adding a yellow color and spice. Um, you commonly see it in American products as a natto bean. And there's actually an achote tree out back there by the pineapples. And Rhino's grandmother prepares the mixture herself. Over here we have the stacks of plantain that we brought in. Um, actually, this is a nice selection because you can see the different kinds. These are covered so that the uh, chickens won't get into them. But here you can see traditional plantain. Um, some of it's ripe already. So that's the maduro and this is the verde. Um, and over here we have another variety. And this is yet another variety. I like these. You can cook them with the skin on them and then just snap it off before you eat them. They have a little bit different flavor. Over here, uh, this is one of those, this is an easier walkway than in some houses, but it's one of those things that if you're a gringo, it's a little hard to walk on. You have to walk sideways. This bridge is made out of, um, <clears throat> out of canes, like bamboo, and um, it's commonly this kind of bridge is used to go to the bathroom. Uh, people may put things out here to dry. Also, little children, when they're being potty trained, will learn to go to the bathroom just here, right at the side of the house. Um, you'll see here that the same kind of cane construction is used for the washing area, which I'll show you in just a minute. You see someone here is taking a cat nap. This is one of the three cats I was telling you about. 
and that over there in our trash pile you'll see the remains of the chontaduro, which is where we pulled the pot off it. These here are just some plants that have been potted in old pots and old um, wa wash basins. This is kind of like a um, basil and you can use it for flavoring or you can also use it, this is what the sh shamans will, shamans will use um, in their cleaning sessions uh, for cleansing the body, I would you hit the body like this with the leaf. Um, they say that after a treatment, if the leaf turns black, that means that you had you had um, the evil eye and it's been cleaned out of you. It smells really good. <clears throat> Over here we have, this is, a, this is a spice used for cooking, you might put it in beans or in soup, and these are little peppers that are about to sprout. Okay, um, now we're going on our way to the bathroom, this bridge here where I not added when I was pregnant because it was a little hard for me to jump all the way up here. And I've always been particularly proud of the bathroom because Rhinel built it himself one time um, a number of years ago when he was left in charge of the house. This is the bathroom, you've probably been glad you can't smell it. Um, and we use these little things for covering up the door to show that someone's in here. Um, over here we have a bathroom, uh, an official outhouse that was made, um, materials were donated by some aid project lately, uh, but none of us have decided to use that bathroom yet. <laughs> Okay, and here we see growing along the side of the house, these are the canes that are used for construction of the bridges, like the ones we're standing on, or just, um, or in general, they're used in the construction of houses. And you see close to the house here, there are just a few banana plants growing. Uh, usually the plantain that's the staple of the diet is grown out in the fields, the chakras. And close to the house you'll have special varieties of bananas, which are just used to kind of give some variety to the diet. Is that chontaduro there, Reynal? Mm -hmm. You see back here is the chontaduro palm, which, is, um, which gives off the fruit that we showed you. And it's also used as building materials. Right, Reynal? Okay. Let's go. Okay. This is a small handmade broom um, which is used for just cleaning up. We haven't swept yet after, um, <clears throat> after eating and you see that the floor has slots in it. So when you sweep, <clears throat> you just move the broom back and forth until the trash falls down below us. Below us is where the chickens roost. <coughs> Um, over here you see this is our, um, our gas stove. Uh, a couple days ago in the middle of the night we heard um, a lot of things going on in the river and someone's house was burning down because they left the stove on. These houses in Sir Man of Straw go up in flames real fast. Over here this is the washing area. Um, this is our soap and a little rag. These are the buckets. And usually there's some kind of cup or pitcher for washing here. And since there's slots in the um, floor, the water just falls down. Up here, these baskets are difficult to make. Um, it's hard to find the materials now. We have a bunch of fruit flies. Um, but this is where you can store vegetables and fruits and stuff. I have some. This is a giant avocado. And um, I have some onions that I bought downriver in Bourbon. Some other foods here. And you see that we have more of these baskets used for storing pots and pans, spices. Okay, well, you see we're pretty much out of water. So um, I'm going to show you how you fetch water. Take this bucket downstream. And I'm going to go put my boots on because I might slip in these shoes. So. Hold on, just no. Mama. Mama. Mama, are you filming? Mama. Mama. Uh, All right, I have my boots drying out because I washed them yesterday. They're still a little wet. Okay, if I were really in shape, I'd be taking two buckets, but we're just going to take one today. Any hey, mommy's going to get water. I'll be right back. You want to come watch? 
on the other side of the river um, to see some more examples of typical Chachi houses. You can see another kind of tree that's usually planted near the house is the coconut tree, um, which is prized for the pipa. When it's a uh, young fruit, it's full of delicious water to drink. Um, <clears throat> Over here you see we have an oar resting to take out uh, in the canoe. When it's really rainy, um, in, the high, in the high point of the rainy season, the water comes all the way up to here, all the way up the staircase and up to here. Right now we're at the peak of the dry season and the river is very calm and low. You can actually walk across almost all of the river right now, it's so shallow. The water is even lower than when we first got here, um, and it's very clear since it's so shallow. If you look closely, you can see some little tadpoles swimming around, some little fish. Right here, I don't know if you can get with the camera, there's some little fish in the water there. Can they swim away? There they go. There's some little fish. Um, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of freshwater shellfish that lives in here that people like to eat as well. Okay, in order to get the water, you know, walk out a little bit and you gotta clean out the bottom of the bucket. Get out the scum. And look for some clear water. Maybe if it's early in the morning, I'd be washing up right now or uh, washing some clothes. And we're ready to go. Before we go up, let me show you this canoe that's here. It's a nice example of a dugout canoe made out of a hollowed out tree. You see it's on a very long line all the way up the hill. See the line all the way up the hill. Um, that's for when the river's higher. Uh, the river in the rainy season can grow tremendously at night and if you don't have your canoe securely fastened, you will wake up with no transportation left. Before we go all the way up with the water, which Alicia is going to help me with, um, let's look over here. 
Rhino's father, Miguel, is working on our canoe. This is our big canoe. Let's go over and look at it. I'm sorry, is that funny, Annie? <laughs> you like that, huh? All right. All right. Ready? <laughs> this is our big canoe. Um, it was the same Chapalachi Akule. This is what we use for riding around with our boat motor. Um, we weren't able to use it right now because it was in need for some repairs. The original canoe was built from a large tree but not as large because there's kind of a paucity right now of um, trees big enough to make large canoes. So what you do when the canoe is not quite big enough to um, be used with a motor and carry lots of stuff is that you split the canoe here in the middle and you see an extra piece was added here to give the canoe more width. And then um, you take tin, uh, natural tar, and lots of little small nails, and you hammer them in. What Rhino and his father have been doing these days is replacing this part here, which was added also to make the canoe um, bigger to give it some added height. So they, uh, they took out all of these pieces here and replaced them, again with uh, nails and tar. We'll nurse in a minute. Okay. Uh-oh, I didn't realize she's without shoes. Okay. <laughs> you didn't get any splinters, did you? Um, and traditionally children this age are still nursed in Chachi culture and every time I um, every time I nurse in here um, I get comments from people um, they're surprised to see that I'm nursing because they know that most North Americans don't nurse their children anymore at this age but it makes them feel good um, to know that someone from my culture values their traditions as well and that they that they do, that um, that I do this for my child. Tomale una foto. Ora a ti Me queda lindísimo. Give it to give it to Johanna. Alicia, Rhino's mom, wanted to show traditional um, chachi dress like is used for um, a matrimonial. And so they decided that instead of dressing up themselves, they would dress me up. <laughs> So um, you can see I'm wearing a traditional skirt here. This is a wraparound skirt. And then um, layers of beads on a line up here above the lip. And um, 
now they're just going to finish with the hair. Annie's a little jealous because she wants to be wearing these beads. Okay, so here you have an idea of what, uh, what, what a bride would look like. We're missing. Um, we're missing, we're missing a piece, a few pieces, but you can see that um, the woman would be dressed with pieces of value, um, beads, and um, I guess traditionally shells were used as well. But here you can see that the headpiece up here, right? The headpiece is um, made with old um, Ecuadorian coins, so um, which at the time they were made were new, um, which would also be considered things of things of value. And I guess at the matrimonial time you, what, you sit like this. Is that right? Antes usaban también conchas. Conchas. ¿Para qué conchas? No, para esto. Sí, creo. Pregúntale a tu abuela, así yo dije. Ya, mami, pum, pum, pum. Ani. Se fue, mami, se fue.